Hello everybody, it's Adrian for webcar.my and I'm all about the details. Check it out, the all new Ferrari 812 GTS right here in Malaysia. Now the 812 GTS is essentially a open top spider version of the 812 Superfast. Now the name GTS stands for Gran Turismo Spider and the last time Ferrari made a V12 front engine um, rear wheel drive platform was 50 years ago in the 365 GTS. Now what makes Ferrari want to revive the V12 open top formula? I think it's because this will be the last naturally aspirated V12 engine Ferrari will ever make. The next one is probably going to be a hybrid or a turbocharged variant. Now between the 365 GTS and this 812 GTS that 50 years, there are only four other Ferrari models and limited edition Ferrari models that use the front engine V12 open top platform, which I cannot remember their names, so I'm going to flash it on the screen right here. Now at the front, the design is essentially identical to the 812 Superfast, but there are some tiny bits that differentiates this as a spider version. Now, of course, you have the retractable hard top, and also here, come on, at the front, right at the windscreen, this flicks helps with aerodynamics. And over to the back, they have revised the entire rear panel just to accommodate that folding roof. Over here, you get new air vents, the diffuser is also a little bit different. All this to make sure that the aerodynamics and the agility and handling of the car is uncompromised with the roof down. What is compromised, however, is the boot space. Now, because of the retractable hard top over to the rear deck, boot space has shrunk to 210 liters. Now, 210 liters doesn't sound like a lot, but it's roughly the same size as a Mazda 2 hatchback. Ah, inside the 812 GTS, first thing you must do is to put the roof down. The roof opens up in 14 seconds up to 45 kilometers per hour. Now 14 seconds sounds like a pretty long time because McLaren does it in about 11 seconds or something. But who cares, it's a Ferrari convertible. In here is very typical Ferrari stuff. You got the F1 style steering wheel with all your uh, instrument cluster and information right in front of you because there's no infotainment screen in this. You see that infotainment screen is right here on the right side of your uh, instrument cluster display. What else can I tell you about this? You have the passenger side display, the 812 GTS uh, logo and you have infinite amount of variations you can do to the car. You can change the roof lining color, you can change the steering wheel color. Basically, Ferrari will let you customize your 812 GTS however you want it to be. Now we come to the best part of this 812 GTS. Lo and behold, the 6.5 liter naturally aspirated Ferrari V12 engine. They will never make anything like this anymore. It pushes out 800 horsepower, driving the rear wheels via a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. 0 to 100, under 3 seconds. 0 to 200, 8.3 seconds. Top speed, 340 km per hour. But all these stats does not matter whatsoever. What matters is how the car sounds. And with the roof down, you get to enjoy the purity, clarity, and the ferocious roar of the V12 engine. This is his Ferrari. Prices for the Ferrari 812 GTS starts from 1.5 million before the applicable duties, taxes and options. But I feel, yes, 1.5 million ringgit is a lot of money, but what you're paying for is one of the last naturally aspirated Ferrari V12s. And that to me is very worth it. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And let us know in the comment section below, what do you think of the 812 GTS?